Hi, how's everyone doing? Uh, this is Erin O'Brien with Howard Hanna, and it is Thursday, August 19th at 1 p.m. And I'm getting ready to start a virtual open house at 3612 Trading Place. And it is a beautiful four bedroom, three and a half bath, um, brick home in Little Neck. We're on about an acre uh, on a cul-de-sac and I'm going to start a watch party and then we will get started. So let me get that started. Um, we'll be good to go. So again, Erin O'Brien with Howard Hanna at 3612 Trading Place. If you're here, feel free and you have any questions, feel free to drop any questions um, in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. Um, just know that it will be a little bit delayed, so if I need to go back, I will. Um, start a watch party. Let me start. There you go. Okay. So, hi. It's Erin O'Brien with Howard Hanna. Um, I'm in Little Neck at 3612 Trading Place in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, it's a four bedroom, a three and a half bath, brick home. It's built on over, just a little, sorry, just under an acre. Um, it's a beautiful home. It was built in 2004. It's been very well maintained. Um, and I will take you through the home. I'm gonna turn around. If you're watching on the Facebook Live and you're watching on the business feed, feel free to drop a comment. It should come up here and I'll be able to answer, answer it. No, it's a little bit delayed. So if I need to go back, I will. Um, if you're watching on the watch party, that is on my personal page and I will check in with that and probably have to answer it later. Um, if you're watching on any of the places that it's shared later, then I will check back on those comments and answer you. Um, so let me turn this around. Here we go. So um, I am in the foyer of the home. I'll turn you around so you can see the front door. So um, here is the front of the home, the front door of the house. There are some pups that belong here, um, so I've kicked them out temporarily. Um, it is a beautiful home with a beautiful front porch. Um, I will walk out there at the end. Um, but here is the foyer. You have to your left a beautiful formal dining room. Um, your front entryway, you do have 21 foot ceilings um, with this breezeway across the second floor and then coming back down into the first floor, you've got 10 foot ceilings down here throughout. Um, so you've got a formal living room over to your left with chair rail molding across. And then you have nice hardwood floors. Oop, sorry, my, uh, my stabilizer stick, I turned it off on accident. Um, with maple insets in the flooring. Um, you do have three fireplaces in the home. You have two wood fireplaces and then one gas. Um, so that is a wood fireplace. To your right down here, you have a formal dining room um, with, as well, the chair rail molding, hardwood floors, um, with that inset, and again, a wood fireplace. We're gonna talk about this dining room in a second. Um, it does have some diverse uses for it. You have a um, stairway upstairs. You have an entrance from here from the front. You also have an entrance from the back um, that goes on the other side from the kitchen. And I will show you that from that direction as well. So then walking towards the back of the house, again, I'm on the back left. This is your Great room, your family room, your hangout room. You have some beautiful built-ins, um, cabinets, shelving, with some bench seating on the windows. That is your gas fireplace. So that's your third fireplace. Um, you do have all those cords built into the wall um, with a communication center in one of those cabinets. This is a, a rather large um, couch, so I can back this up so you can see 
You know, that is a rather large couch. So this room is a very, very good size. And then you'll notice over in this back area, you can see this wall framing that separates off this, oh, the dogs are in the backyard now. Um, <laughs> separates off this back um, area. You'll see upstairs, that's because in the master bedroom, it also has sort of a separated off area that um, really makes that master suite extra special. Um, they have this area set off as um, an eating area. The previous owners had it as a quote music room. They had a, a grand piano in that room. You could have it as a reading area. Um, I'll discuss again, another use for that as well. Um, but yeah, that adds to the versatility of this layout. And then you have this, this pass through to the kitchen, this hallway, which I will go down um, when I come back around. You've got a desk area over here to the right. And then in this cabinet right here, um, you have the setup for, there is a whole house surround sound system. Um, you have a pantry, which I'll show you. You have a second pantry, and then you've got a half bath, and you have the garage. Again, I'll walk through that as we go around. But let's come over here. Hi, Jeff, how are you? Hope all is well. I'm gonna come into this section. So again, this area, I am gonna say you are looking probably at about 20 feet long by eight feet wide. Um, and they have this set up as an eating area. Again, the last family that lived here had this as their quote music room and they had a grand piano in here. You could set it up as a, a reading area, an extended area to your great room. I think you could make this into your dining room um, and then you could turn that dining room into, hi Angela, how are you? You could turn that dining room into the formal dining room up the front. You could turn that into another bedroom. And I'll show you because the half bath is large enough to convert that into a full bathroom. This right here is the kitchen. Um, it is a chef's kitchen. You could have it as an eat-in kitchen. Um, right here, there's you know the chandelier. There's plenty of room here for a table. Um, they don't need the table because they have the table behind me. Uh, this kitchen is gorgeous. You have a 48 inch gas burner grill or gas burner range with this custom hood, um, a two ovens, convection ovens. That bottom drawer is a proofing drawer. I'm going to let the smallest pup in because he is almost coming in. Um, you have a proofing drawer. Um, that drawer does not hold baking sheets, I've learned. So that helps raise, um, helps bread rise. And if you look on my business page, I wrote a lesson about how um, bread rises. Then over here, you've got a lot of custom cabinets um, for your built-in bar area. These, you know, these can like pull out. These drawers can pull out and stuff. Um, so just some beautiful cabinetry work. Um, for example, this right here, this is your dishwasher. You didn't even know it was there. Surprise. You also have an in-counter microwave hiding behind here. Um, and then you have a sink in your island. So some beautiful work here in the kitchen. I'm going to show you, this is your... I say small pantry, even though it's three times the size of my pantry. It's also very well organized. This family loves to entertain. They love to cook. They love to bake. And then I will take you, that's a small pantry. I'll take you to the large pantry. <laughs> So this is your large pantry. Um, and I will show you through there. So you've got a large pantry. Um, that's also a very good size. We'll keep coming down this hallway. Sorry, I turned this light off. I did a tour a little bit ago. And you've got a granite vanity. 
to match the kitchen and a toilet. Again, you could make this a full bathroom. There's plenty of room in here. And then easily have this room converted into a bedroom and then use that back area as your master. I mean, sorry, as your dining room. Garage. Obviously very high ceilings because the garage does have five steps down into the garage. You've got a back door to the backyard. You have a two car side loading garage. Plenty of space to pull in if you wanted to park in here. You also have this work area over here, which is great. Oh, you're in here too, hi. You have this work area in here. Um, plenty of work, you've got some shelving upstairs or, shel or some storage areas upstairs. You do have a central vac. And then you also, this is your crawl space. Um, the house does have a newer vapor barrier and a dehumidifier that was put in in 2018. And I will head upstairs. So I'm gonna head up again. You have entry to the upstairs from the back and from the front. So heading upstairs. First, I'm gonna take you to the guest bedroom. The guest bedroom is located, thanks Angela, it is a nice house. Um, the guest bedroom is located on the front left of um, the home. You've got two windows overlooking the front yard. I'll show you from this corner. Um, you have an ensuite bathroom, and then you also have this closet that has built-ins with shelving and with drawers. Here is your bathroom, sink, vanity, and you have a tub shower over there. That is the guest bathroom. I'm gonna head across. You have hardwood flooring in the hallway up here, which is great for through traffic. Now you have a laundry room upstairs. Um, obviously a washer dryer in the laundry room, surprise. <laughs> then you have, you know, good three cabinets, four cabinets, five, six cabinets. <laughs> then you have some cabinets down here as well as a sink um, and, and some counter space. So that's a really nice laundry room. Um, you also have a linen closet directly to the right of it. So you've got a lot of storage in here. The home is not short on storage, I can tell you that. And then walking into the front right bedroom, um, this bedroom has, you know, you got the two, um, two windows overlooking the front yard. I'm gonna say this room is probably uh, four, four. You're probably looking at about 16 by 16 for the actual space of it, the actual square of the room. Um, you have a little bit of a hallway right here that goes out to the hallway. But for the actual room itself, you're probably at about 16 by 16. You have a true Jack and Jill um, bathroom. For those that don't know, a Jack and Jill bathroom is actually three rooms. There's, you know, the you have a room in the middle that shares something, and then you've got rooms on either side. So we will walk through that. The room on this side has your vanity with cabinetry for bathroom storage, and then... It also has a closet, which again, you've got some custom drawers, shelving, and racks. Then you've got the middle room, which has a toilet. And then you have a tub shower in here. Um, and then 
the room that connects to the other bedroom has a vanity as well with a little bit, I think a little bit bigger of a vanity. Maybe not. Um, I'm looking back, sorry. And some drawers in here. Now this is the bedroom on the back right of the home. Um, and this bedroom, I'm gonna get as, this bedroom has some nooks to it. So I'm gonna try and get you a full view of the bedroom. There's this nook right here where you could put you know, some type of shelving or a dresser. Um, these stairs, and I'll show you this, but this is walk-up attic stairs. Um, so that's why it kind of sort of provides this little nook here. Um, you have, you know, four windows just to let a ton of light in here. And then you, know, you have a little bit of that little hallway too that leads out to that hallway. And this has its own little sort of wing to this side of the house. So perfect to sort of put your, if you have two kids or even three kids to put them on this side of the house. This room is definitely big enough for two children, three kids, four kids. Um, the room's huge. So this is a good size room. And then I'll show you the closet in here. This closet has um, you know, a ton of shelving, drawers, and rods as well. So, hi Coach Sawyer, how are you? You've got a basketball ball and a good sized driveway with some turnaround room. Again, a side loading garage. I'll show you from up here. Um, here is the backyard. Um, there is, there's a back deck and that is off of that eating area they have. You do have a good size backyard. It goes all the way over to that storage shed over there. Um, if you wanted to put a pool, there's plenty of room for a pool, but you do have the little neck pool right down the street. And I am gonna head upstairs. So now you have your walk-in attic. Um, super easy. I rarely show a walk-in or I rarely show an attic on a virtual open house because there's no way I'm climbing up in one. But this is your walk-in attic. Super easy to get to. Um, super easy for storage as you can see you are welcome to have all of the things you could possibly want and store them in here and then walk back down and that's a lot higher than it looks I think I was just holding the camera um, the ceiling is a lot higher when you're walking down I think I was holding it pretty high up um, so now the last piece to the house is the master suite. Um, I'm going to turn you around. So this is probably, I mean, the best part of the house, obviously. This master suite gives you so much privacy and so many options. Um, it is the back right corner of the house. Um, and it is large. It has a beautiful tray ceiling with the can lights all around. Again, it has the whole house surround, so you can see the speakers up there, but the can lights around. You have the two windows in the room itself, but then again, you have that room that's above the eating area downstairs um, that has the French doors. You can use it. She has it set up as um, an office and a workout area. It could be a nursery. It could be a reading area. Uh, but just can kind of make this room a private retreat for the homeowners. Um, I'll just try and really give you a good look at just how nice this master suite is. Because it really is a beautiful room with a ton of natural light. 
Um, it does have plantation blinds. I have them all raised up, obviously, to let the light in. Um, I will come in here. Oh, sorry. I'm not good around exercise equipment, obviously. Um, but here you've got, you know, she has her set up as an office. You've got a beautiful view of just this little natural escape here. The, the yard was professionally landscaped. You've got beautiful trees, um, beautiful flowers out front. The master bathroom, you're probably gonna see me because there's mirrors on both sides, but you've got separate vanities. Um, vanity over here. There is a shower, jetted tub, a toilet room. Let's see if I can get over here. Another vanity, um, a very good size. Sorry, my camera's going wonky. A very good size. And then you've got a huge master closet um, with tons of shelving. This middle piece is built-ins. Let's see if I can get, um, you know, built-in shelving with built-in drawers. Just a beautiful closet. Um, so I will turn you around. So if anyone has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, it will close up, but it's a, it's a 4,000 square foot home. Again, it's Aaron O'Brien with Howard Hanna. I am in a brick, um, all brick, 4,000 square foot home. Uh, it's four bedrooms, three and a half baths um, in Little Neck. And it's on Trading Place. It is um, about a half mile to three quarters of a mile down the road from Little Neck Pool. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And I'd love to give you a tour if you'd like to see it. And let's see if there's any comments here. Um, no, it looks like... No, I think we're good. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I will be happy to answer them. Um, so everyone have a great day. It's Wednesday and I will see you soon. Bye guys, thanks for joining.